here we are at SeaWorld opening day, reopening day. We've got new six just here. Hand sanitizer, temperature screening. So as with Universal and with Disney, 100.4 means no go. How's it going? On a buy-in, it's good. All the way over. How are you doing, Jeff? Good. Please remember that these phones at all times. Watch your sanitizer hands reloading. And keep six feet. More news cameras are here. Thank you. And enjoy your day here at the SeaWorld is committed to the health and safety of all of our guests and employees. Okay, thank you. Remember to wear these covers at all times. I'm good to go. That's the biggest hurdle. Joanne's clear too. There's Gemma and Christina to go. Come on then. So now we're, now we're going to line up to go through security. So we got here at maybe um, nine o'clock and they held us in the car before the toll until 9.30. The park opens at 10, so it looks like they're not going to let you in until 9.30. There was a fair old build-up of cars behind us, but once we started moving, it's, it got easy. Um, as you saw, all they want is your, your ticket and your uh, ID to make sure you can come in, and that's it. So we're standing in the security line. Um, we've been here probably for five minutes. It's just past 9.40 at the moment. You can see that this is how they're going to organise security now. So it's uh, almost like, I guess, going up to a bank with the tellers. And you're going to be told which line to go in by this cast member, this uh, team member down here. So it tells you, um, they, they've just opened security actually now, just this second. So people are starting to move through. And there are people have been directed to a certain line. So that security was a joke. Um, we just bypassed it basically. Went through the metal scanner, which isn't working. Didn't ask for a bag check. I just think they want to get people through today. I don't know if that's going to be it for, forever, but that was uh, yeah, that was not a, a good security check. So we now have to go to um, to get our daughter Joanne's free ticket. And then we have to go to Zone C. When we're done with this, we've got to go to Zone C. Annual passes get a free ticket. So we've got to wait and get services now to get the free ticket. You can reserve the space on your annual pass, and when you get to the park, you actually have to come and get the physical ticket. Okay, that was fairly painless, so we're just now in the line to get in. The lines are moving. As you heard, we just played the American National Anthem, which they always do here at SeaWorld. It's the only park, well, SeaWorld Bush Gardens, the SeaWorld Parks, they play the National Anthem. Uh, they don't anywhere else. It's actually, I think it's very cool to be, to be patriotic here before they open the park. As you can see, the team members are behind uh, plexiglass, and they're scanning people's tickets. And looking at reservations. Have a great day. How are you? Good. 
Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. They scan both the ticket and the uh, the reservation, and then you're in. That's it. So all in all, that didn't take very long. From um, if security was open, and sorry, if temperature screen was open, security was open, and the ticket line was open to get in, then it would be a, a, a quite a quick operation. Um, obviously, with it being just opening now, then um, it, it's taken a little bit more time. Here's a site that I want to get back and see. The lighthouse. There's the height check. So immediately you can see what your kids can go on and what they can't go on. And through the gift shop is the quicker way to get to the attractions. You can go around the outside if you want to get services. But this is this is the quickest way. We've got physical distancing signs everywhere. It's going to be a hot one today. Um, as you can see, not a cloud in the sky at the moment. It's supposed to rain later, thunderstorms later today, but it's going to get up to 92. So 92 plus humidity plus mask equals, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. The park actually isn't open yet, so they're letting people go as far as under the sun, the shop just before there, and then um, can't get can't get past there right now. It's 9:58. 9:58 right now, and the park opens at 10, so we've only got a couple of minutes before we get let in. Okay, we are in. It's just gone 10 o'clock. We're opening the stores up right now, and we are walking to our first attraction. Not sure exactly what we're going to do. This is the world's all-day dining deal. Forty dollars plus tax for adults. 19.99 for a child. Every hour you can have one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage and one side or dessert. That would do, wouldn't it? They're not doing park maps in paper anymore, uh, so you've got to get the one online. Um, or you, there, there are, they are scattered around the parks as well, plus there's a QR code one here. There's the tower. It's closed at the moment, unfortunately. So I'm not going up there, that would have been a great view today. It's very weird right now, there's not many people here. I mean, it has just opened. So that's what's in front of me. That's what's behind me. So there's not a lot of people heading this way right now. I don't know what it's going to be like during the day. But um, if, it, uh, if it stays somewhat like this, I'll be very pleased. Here's where they do the caricatures. Um, and it's, uh, as you can see, that they've got plexiglass there as well, just to avoid any, any possibility of contact. So we were going to make Infinity Falls our first stop, and they're testing the ride apparently. They're testing the water quality and stuff. So quite why they couldn't do that yesterday or this morning before 10 o'clock, I don't know. But uh, we're now going to go to Mako, do that, and then come back. Go figure. Here we are at Mako. There you go. Um, I've already done the ride video for Mako, so I'm not going to do the ride video. I will do a reaction video. There's the seat that you test to make sure you can fit on the ride. Hand sanitizer everywhere. So yeah, I've done a ride video already. So I'm not going to do another one. Um, I will do a reaction video, so what I what my face looks like. This is actually, for me, a scary ride. I, I don't particularly... I like it, but I don't like it, if you know what I mean. It scares the hell out of me, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. I've got Joanne and Gemma, they're going to do it, that's uh, so all I have to do it. <laughs> the water fountains are still operating, so if you've got a bottle, I guess you can uh, take the chance and fill your bottle up. We've got social distancing markers on the ground, and that, we've had that for quite a while back there. So as you can see, it's an absolute walk-on, there's nobody here. It's actually not quite a walk-on because of social distancing involved. We're going to have to wait. Um, you know, there's various points on the stairs that we're waiting. As you can see, people are six feet behind us, six feet in front of us. This is the way the ride looks now. So they're using every other row. Only every other row. Goes. 
there's eight rolls on a maker right big so they're only using four of them and they could basically if, if there were four single people there could be four people on one of the one of the ride vehicles so it may take some time to uh, to get up those stairs and get on the vehicle so we've now just been told that um, the guy in the front row is a platinum pass holder so he gets to ride twice so he gets to ride twice i didn't know about that so this is the sanitization process riders must keep arms legs hands and feet perfect timing just as the ride started my camera jammed so I didn't get any reactions on that I'm gonna see if I can get on it later today but we're gonna go back to Infinity Falls now and uh, see if that's working just went back to Infinity Falls still not working they're telling us it's a camera problem so I'm guessing that's the safety cameras on the ride that aren't operational Lord knows why they didn't take care of this before park opened or whether it was just a glitch that happened just before park opened it, it could be if you want to see any ride and show videos from SeaWorld just uh, click on the link that's going to be below this video which is going to be the SeaWorld um, attractions and shows um, playlist and then you'll, you'll get quite a few bits down there so if you've got little ones Elmo's Choo Choo train is running got to be at least 36 inches tall to ride this one you still see there's not many not many people at all in the park right now I don't know what capacity they're running at today, it, it seems fairly low, I'm sure people are still coming in but at the moment, very very easy to social distance, no problem at all uh, people are keeping their distance as with the Universal and Disney parks when they reopen this is the kids play area in Sesame Street, it's closed it's not going to be open while social distancing is in place because they just can't control um, what the kids do and they want social distance these are the all day drinking cups that you can buy 14.99 each if you buy two to 12.99 each and three or more 10.99 each so they are and i'm drinking so i'm okay they are free refills for the day of purchase and then they're 99 cents per refill for the life of the cup it says per season but it's actually for the life of the cup so as long as that cup is still intact and isn't broken you can refill it for 99 cents it's a good deal we just spent about 20 minutes in the shade sitting there in sesame street with a slushy that actually really helps um, so not only is it hot and we've got the mask on it's a bit humid as well we've been in the park maybe an hour and a half and just had a just had a bit of a breather and it really helps I feel much better for it now I'm gonna get a refill on the slushy and then we're gonna head over to uh, Shamu, there's a show at 12 o'clock, that's the first show here at Shamu, it's only 11.20 so they're allowing people in earlier than they normally would I guess that's so that they don't have a queue building up outside because it, usually there is quite a line built up outside for Shamu so early yet, not so many people in, I'm guessing people don't even know that the stadium is open so it's very sparse at the moment as you can see we've got um, one way so you're gonna have to come up that way and then around and down this way so you can see that they've got the the first row is open next row is closed and so on and so on back up there i imagine that this is the way it's going to be for all their shows we are coming up now to three minutes to go before the first orca show starts again after covid19 as you can see not a massive crowd but as i say every other row is taken out and then they've got social distancing between family groups as well so i'm guessing the capacity must be around 30 or 40 percent once you've taken all that into consideration if the capacity of the park is only 25 to 30 percent then that will work it works really well um, it's not I mean, they probably don't have um, everybody in capacity anyway there were still reservations for today yesterday so they haven't maxed out the reservations so they haven't maxed out their 25 to 30 percent so we're going to watch this show um, now uh, i'll catch you later
when they come to you, it'll be your turn to leave. We ask you to please exit one row at a time, and our ambassadors will let you know which exit to leave from. Sound good? Okay, we're gonna start over here on the lower right-hand side and the lower left-hand side. Thank you guys for coming. You guys can leave uh, one row at a time. Thank you again. Now we're leaving section by section, which is the first, so this is good. It doesn't stop any crowding. Hello. Not recording. Oh, it is. <laughs> we're going to ride Infinity Falls now. So eventually Infinity Falls is working. Uh, it's now one family or one set of people to arrive. There's no um, doubling up of families, no, no mixing with people you don't know. So there it is, working. There it is. So I guess there could be as little as one person, a um, single rider in one of these tracks. Um, the, the, uh, the line is backed up a little bit, but uh, hopefully they'll get through fairly quickly. So we're, we're in the annual pass over the lounge now in Sea World. It's next to the Waterway Grill, so if you come in through the Waterway Grill, the annual pass over the lounge is just to the left. So we're having a bit of a pit stop in here. And we're getting the food from the Waterway Grill and just like, you get free coke and stuff in here, so that's why we're in here. It seems to be a a fairly mask-free environment, people are eating and drinking and it is nice and cool in here. So again, it's another 20 minute, half an hour pit stop before we start on our uh, travels through SeaWorld again. We ended up getting two lots of chicken tenders and fries and a carrot cake, 25 bucks, with the pastel of the discount. Mm, with the pastel of the discount. So, I'm free drinks. That's what it looks like. And of course, we didn't buy any drinks because we got them with the, um, the refills. So that's the way forward with the refills, otherwise drinks can get very expensive. Yeah, I'm going to tuck in now. We decided not to bother with Infinity Falls. The wait time is 70 to 80 minutes and the ride time is not working. So we just didn't feel like hanging around there. The quick queue today is 39.99 each. So I think that's going to be actually the way forward. It's going to be quick queue, unfortunately. If you want to get on your ride, because it does look like these lines are starting to build up now. This weather's also starting to build up. That's what it's like right now. We do have thunderstorms forecast and I think they're coming right this way. Social distancing, pretty non-existent when you're not actually being told to social distance. Plenty of people without masks on. It's actually a bit of a disaster. I'm back at Shamu Stadium for the Orca Encounter. We've seen the 12.30 show. We're now going to see the 2 o'clock show because um, it's a brand new show, basically. It isn't, it isn't the one that was there uh, in late December, early January. So um, I'm going to film that one now and I'm going to put that on the channel as well. So that'll be available tonight, tomorrow. Here's what it looks like right now for the 2.30 show. We've got 28 minutes to go. The clouds are looking a little ominous, but hopefully this show gets underway. But I just want to show you now who's wearing a mask, who's not they pan around people have got it under the chin people have got it under the nose parents aren't telling the kids what to do it's just uh, a joke really been getting steadily worse during the day um, as the heat's got a little uh, bigger you know the temperature's got a lot bigger so more and more people have uh, found it necessary either not to wear a mask at all or just to pull it either under the chin or under the nose and feel that's okay uh, but the policy for mask wearing isn't being enforced nobody i've seen no seawall staff telling anybody to uh, wear their mask properly I did see one SeaWorld employee arrive, the ride attendant not with the mask on, it was in his hand. So, yeah, I'm getting a little bit disappointed with uh, SeaWorld right now in terms of their ability to control their mandatory mask wearing. Um, as with uh, Disney Springs and Universal uh, City Walk, 
people's own ability to, uh, to social distance six feet is poor. Their estimation of what six feet is, unless they're told by a mark on the ground, is not great. Um, I think that's just people. And I, it's, not, it's definitely not just SeaWorld, it's everywhere. So I don't know what can be done about that. I mean, if, look, if everybody wears masks, maybe it doesn't make such a, such a difference if you're within six feet of each other. But if you're not wearing a mask and you're within six feet of each other, then you know you're in. You could be in dangerous territory, couldn't you? Because that's what this is all about. So sorry, it's a, a bit of a rant, but um, what can you do? So, so look, if if you're coming, if you're coming to Orlando, just be aware that in the theme parks, things aren't regulated as they should be. So if you want to wear a mask, if you're going to wear your mask properly, then crack on, bang on. And if you if you want to flout those rules. Nobody's going to tell you anything different, but the possibility of, of um, catching the coronavirus for everybody involved goes up. I don't know by what degree, but it's got to go up. So just be aware, if you come into theme parks in Orlando, um, there, there are going to be issues with people not social distancing and not wearing masks. We just had a big rainstorm as the Orca Encounter show was coming to a close. Um, so it's... Uh, just three o'clock in the afternoon which is the kind of almost exact time that the rainstorms and thunderstorms come through Orlando in the summer so if you come into SeaWorld or any parks with roller coasters which is most of them then be aware that in the afternoon it is likely that you're going to get stuff closed down outdoor um, rides are going to be closed down if there's rain or thunder so I would uh, look to do those things in the morning if I were you I mean, you've seen what the weather was like this morning, blue sky, not one cloud. Now, a completely different picture. Uh, and I don't know whether it's going to get better from here. It may do. Um, but the parks are all under uh, restricted hours anyway. So, yeah, if you come in, another tip, just uh, I'd get to the park early, get the big stuff done early at least once, and then at least you've done it. Don't be disappointed. It's not getting any better, is it? It really isn't. We're walking past, back past Mako now. You can see, oh, it's just reopened actually. They're just reopening it, but there's a bit of a line there. That's going to take quite some time to get through. Again, zero social distancing and no team members around to say anything. In fact, I don't think they care really. We've reached Antarctica. No massive crowds here. In fact, the, 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 crowds, the crowds have been very light, but it seems that they're taking a long time to sanitise rides and circulate and cycle the rides through so people can get on them. Um, I don't know if this is any different to what we're doing at Universal, I don't think it's any better or any worse, but it just it feels long, like the lines are short, but it's taken a long time to get through them. The Empire of the Penguin is one of the rides that's not operational uh, on day one, and I don't have a date for when it will be. I believe you can still see the penguins, you just can't go and see the, uh, yeah, there's just no ride, you can go and see the penguins. There's just no ride. And the wait time just to go and see the penguins is a stunning 45 minutes. If you're going on rides and you don't have a designated bag person, i.e. people that don't want to go on rides, that's your alternative. All day locker rental, $20, 10, $10 refundable key deposit. So there's Journey to Atlantis. That's one of my favorite rides in this park and look at it, very sorry. No people, no ride vehicles, no screaming, no water. Um, so that, together with other rides that aren't working, plus Infinity Falls that went tech this morning, 
was is putting pressure on other rides. Um, we just went over to Kraken. I'm going to go over there again now. That uh, is a 45 minute wait right now. This is the entrance to Kraken as you can see. There's actually nobody here. Very few people here. Uh, and those that are here have got no masks on. But it's a 45 minute wait. And just because of this, the sanitization um, and the social distancing that has to be done on that ride, as with the other rides, that's, that's really adding to the wait times on all these rides. Really adding to the wait times. Um, I think my advice right now would be to get the quick queue. Um, like I said, it's uh, 29.99 today. You'll have to look at the calendar to see when you're coming, your day, and what price it is, because the prices do vary from uh, 9.99 and up. So today is 29.99. We're gonna head home now. It's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. We've been here six hours. Uh, got more shows done than anything. Took it really, really easy. A few breaks uh, just to either get out of the sun or um, just have something to drink or something to eat. We could take the masks off. I, I, I wouldn't advocate just coming in here or to any park and just trying to steam through the whole day with a mask on. It ain't gonna happen, you're gonna be very uncomfortable. I'm not saying you're gonna pass out or anything, but you need to drink uh, a lot anyway because it's hot and sunny. Um, and this, this mask just, you know, makes it, seems to make it even more so. It's not, um, it's not like you're breathing normally. You have to breathe through cloth, so, you know, you've got to take um, deeper breaths. And, um, and it's, you know, it's not the best experience, to be honest with you, and it's not what we're used to. We used to come into parks, rubbing shoulders with other people, wandering around, uh, getting pushed into the centre by the team members, cast members, when you go to a show, so you're tightly packed in. None of that's happening. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not what you're used to. If you come in, just be aware. This is not usual. Um, so how would, I, how would I rate SeaWorld, I guess, it is going to be my, my last thing. Uh, it started off well. The process for getting in was uh, easy enough. The morning actually was good and uh, you know it was bright sunshine, good weather. People seemed to be uh, taking care of themselves in terms of wearing the masks and as the day wore on that got less and less until now, deep as I don't know, maybe half the people either have a mask around the chin, around the mouth or don't have a mask on at all. It's probably that, that kind of percentage now which is like I'm shocked, I'm just really shocked. Nobody from SeaWorld is doing anything about that. Um, I, don't, I don't know if they're just overwhelmed with the number of people or whether they've been told just not to bother. You know, that's obviously their policy is masks, but um, you can either abide by their policy or not, seemingly up to you. So yeah, uh, not, not very, very happy with the way that SeaWorld have organised themselves today in terms of that policy. Um, ride times are a little larger than I thought they would be and if they up the capacity, I don't know when they're going to be allowed to do that, but let's say they're at 30% now, if they go up to 50% but they need to maintain every other row in shows and every other row in rides, then those wait times are going to skyrocket um, and then you, you're basically going to have to have a quick queue. If you want to get onto rides, in SeaWorld, you're going to have to have a quick queue. There's no two ways about it. So you might want to budget for that and then you'll get on fairly quickly, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, so that's it. That's it for today from SeaWorld. Um, we'll be back here at some point fairly soon, see if things change. I'm sure they're going through some teething problems. They're just working stuff out as they go as well. So um, hopefully when we get back the next time, things will be slightly better. We'll see. Okay, take care everybody. See you soon. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.